Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just wanted to come on and share a message with everyone, something that I received from the Lord today. I wrote this down, and I felt the Holy Spirit very strongly on me while I was writing all of this down, so I'm just going to read out what I got, and this is this is what I wrote. We all have a unique, special, individual relationship with our Father and our Savior Jesus. The Lord will use anything and anyone, including numbers, music, movies, books, fellow Christians who are making videos, sharing sharing things. Um, he, he can use anything that he wants to teach, to communicate, to warn, etc. And when we have fellow believers come and point fingers and say that you are wrong or you listen to this or you do that, this is wrong when people are doing these things because we can't know what our Lord is doing when he's using or saying, or teaching, or doing these things, dreams, visions, and so forth, with each individual person. We don't know each and every single other person's walk with the Lord. We all have our own personal relationship. So, I, I also have written here, this does not mean there are not those that lie and deceive and misrepresent of course, there are many false teachings and so forth that are out there today. But we have the Holy Spirit to let us know when something is not right and when something is not correct, we can get the discernment to know, no, that's not correct. Don't listen to that part. But it doesn't mean that when you're listening to a person that every single thing that they are saying could be wrong. Um, a person can uh, make mistakes. We're human beings. We can have misunderstandings when we're being given something or told something. But it doesn't make all of it bad. So, and when I was getting this, I had a picture in my mind that, you know, if you have a bag of apples and you have one rotten apple in the bag, are you going to throw the whole bag of apples away or are you just going to get rid of the one rotten one and discard that? And I think that was kind of the analogy that we should have when we're listening to anybody who's sharing information. Just because they say something that is wrong, it doesn't mean the whole message could be wrong just means they got something incorrect. We, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. We're not always going to get everything right. It's also the same analogy as having a block of cheese. You have a full block of cheese and you have one little bit at the end and it has a little bit of mold. Are you going to throw the whole block out or are you going to take a knife and cut off the moldy piece and then put your cheese back in the fridge. I'm not going to waste a whole block of cheese. I'm going to cut off the bad part and keep the rest, right? Well, that's how we need to look at it with our fellow brothers and sisters, that we all can make mistakes. We all can get some things wrong. It doesn't mean we throw away the whole message. Anyway, all the things that we do want or need to know, we ask directly to the Lord. If we do ask other fellow believers questions and I've done this myself as well we need to always keep in mind that we can get an incorrect answer or we can get the correct answer does everyone always want to tell you a lie and and tell you something that's not true no sometimes a person can say something that is incorrect and that's not intentional it's just that's how they're understanding it. Anyway, another analogy I would like to use to really hit this uh, hard is 
if you look, see on the screen here, I drew this W. And so if I had somebody sitting across from me right now, and I said to them, and we all said to them, because you're looking at this too, that that is a W. And they looked at me and said, no, it isn't a W. I mean, what would you all say? Would you say that they're wrong, that they're incorrect, it's not a W? Because I would just like to point out that they are also correct. Because if we wanted to turn it around and look at it from their perspective, my W that I see, if you turn it around, it's no longer a W, but it's the letter M. So it's always good to sometimes look at other perspectives because sometimes they're not wrong. It just depends on what side of the table you're on and how you're looking at it. Both people can be right. It's just a t totally different perspective. So I just hope everyone can keep that in mind. But as always, use your discernment. Always take everything to the Lord. Always ask Him ultimately in the end, what the truth is about anything. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. I plead hedge of protection in the blood of Christ over all of you and your families. I lift you up every day. I pray for all of my brothers and sisters. I thank you all for your prayers for my family. I really do appreciate them. We definitely do need them in these times. It is very rampant, the attacks, the spiritual attacks and so forth. But we just keep pressing in to the Lord, keep our minds steadfast on him always, no matter what. And he will always come through for us. So again, have a beautiful day in the Lord. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.